footwork on ABC's Dancing with the Stars. We'll talk to one of the winners, dancer Karina Smirnoff, right here in studio on Good Morning Washington. Keep it here. Channel 8. 925 now, and if you have watched Dancing with the Stars, well then, I don't even have to tell you our next guest's name. You know her already. Karina Smirnoff won season 13 with J.R. Martinez, took home the Mirror Trophy Ball, and here with her today, Chevy Chase Ballroom Dance Studio co-owners, Gary and Arena. Thank you so much for coming in this morning. Thank you for, Thank you for having us. It's a treat to meet you. I'm a huge fan. I've grown up watching Dancing we with the Stars. We have to do so. the dance at the end then. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, thanks for coming. So tell everybody what you're doing here in the D.C. area. Well, this time in the summer. I'm actually just doing workshops at the guys studio. It's right. been an amazing uh, day yesterday. We had a lot of people, a lot great turnout. But um, the really exciting news is coming on December 31st this year. So one of my professional partners that I've had the most kind of success with, Slavic Kriklevi, we are getting back together and we're creating the new show and we're going to come back and perform live at the Yuletide Ball on December 31st. So Wonderful. I am very Excited. I mean, yeah, spending it's New, New Year's, Year's Eve yeah. right in Washington D.C. That's you wonderful. can't beat that, right? And so you guys had you had a workshop last night. And yes. You said there were a lot of folks that turned out. How did it go? It was wonderful. I mean, Karina is very popular. Yes. And she's a wonderful coach. She's a great dancer. So we had blast. And I would guess, I mean, Dancing with the Stars has done wonders to get people interested and engaged in ballroom dancing. That's right. Um, what I've heard, because uh, uh, Dancing with the Stars program is an ABC program, mm -hmm. and it started with a strictly come dancing in, right. uh, in Great Britain. Yeah. So uh, the, the volume of uh, interest in ballroom dancing actually grew up 70%. 70. 70, okay. So it was amazing. Yeah, it seemed yeah. kind of like it was a dead sport, and you helped bring it back to life. <laughs> you know, what? back in the day when we had Sid Cherise and Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers, dancing was kind of in the forefront mm -hmm. of the entertainment industry. And then we kind of took the back seat. But thank Lord for shows like Dancing with the Stars and So You Think You Can Dance. Now dancing is super popular. It is. Look at you. Yeah. I mean, this was one. One of my favorite seasons because um, I wanted to do something with our military men and women of the right, military for right. the longest time and I wanted to do like a special tribute um, especially around the 10-year mark of 9-11 mm -hmm. um, but instead I got to meet dance and win the show with J.R. Martinez it was like one of those experiences yes. that oh. yeah he was I, my favorite that season I mean I love all of you guys <laughs> I love all the professionals but yeah he was um, he, it was tough not to vote for him. You and know, you, and you. When I when I met him, I said, "Dude, with a name like Martinez, when there's a Z at the end, if you can't dance, we've got bigger issues." <laughs> I was gonna say, I would think with the salsa, the rumba, all that, mm -hmm. he should be able to nail yes, it. Yes, yes, um, he represented his people very well. You're right. So I want to know, where is the Mirror Ball Trophy in your home? Where do you keep it? Well, I have a studio in LA as well. Okay. So my mom has this like glass case with spotlights, <laughs> and she like comes in in the morning and makes sure there's no. Like fingerprints on the mirror ball, but you know what? It's not the mirror ball that matters. It's the fact that you get to share it with people who equally love dancing and love the experience of right. dancing. So, if you guys still trying to figure out what to do on New Year's, Yuletide Ball. That's it. Come see us dance. Right. And then we have other dancers as well performing at the show. So okay. it's um it's a competition and a show, and we're gonna welcome 2016 together. Can you give us any kind of behind the scenes scoop? I mean, who was your favorite to dance? I don't know your favorite, but any kind of behind the scenes. I know. Stuff. Well, since we're in Washington, I have yes. to be politically correct. Yeah, okay, right? please do right. Um, but <laughs> I love them all. Here. I love them all, but between us, uh -huh. and I hope it's gonna stay Just here. Right so. we're not gonna tell no, no social media, please. There were a few that were maybe a little bit more challenging than some others. Okay. But it's not necessarily just the danceability, because this show is a popularity contest, it's personality totally. contest. Yes, yeah, so sometimes you might have the best dancer but people are just not rooting for them and other times you might not have the strongest dancer but the arc of the story yeah the development from yeah. week one to week ten is so huge that you know America rallies behind them and 
This is what we saw with J.R. JR. Martinez. Not yeah. many people knew J.R. before the show, but by the end, I was like, there's no place we would go where people like, hey, we're rooting for you. You got to kill it. Yeah. You got to do it, you know? Do you still keep in touch with all of them? I do. do? I do. Okay. It's so real friendships are made. Yes. Well, Ralph Mutch is still one of my closest friends. I um, love the whole family. Jacoby Jones, now he's on the uh, West Coast. He yeah. used to play for Baltimore. Sorry, guys. <laughs> um, charges took him. And, uh, you know, so I'm going to go see some of the games. Corbin Blue, one of the coolest oh, yeah. partners I've yeah. had. Like, Disney star. Yeah, he introduced me to Game of Thrones. So okay. now I'm like, season six, where is it? <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, I mean, the show has been fabulous for all of our lives, and I miss it tremendously. Yeah. And the spray tan. I love the yeah, spray oh, tan. Oh, good spray tan, of yeah. course. Wake up and glow right away. <laughs> okay, so you're back here, New Year's Eve. One more time, the website for people that want to sign up for this. It's right here. You've got it. So you go to yuletideball.com. Easy That's enough. Cool. <laughs> and right. we represent Chevy Chase Ballroom, so yeah. if you wish to find more information, you can call us at Chevy Chase Ballroom at 202-363-8344. Okay. okay. And find out more about Yuletide Ball. Yuletide. And one little celebrate. thing, one little detail. So Karina and Slavik will be offering private lessons and workshops as well. So if you want to sign up, go to yuletideball.com. Oh, you can sign nice. up for the lessons. Perfect way to start off the new year. Absolutely. Thank right, Gary, Irina, okay. thank you so thank much. Karina, thanks you. for thank coming you. in. We, we got to do a move. No, girl. No, no. girl. <laughs> <laughs> All camera. <laughs> All right. Thanks so much, all of you.